In mathematical analysis, the Weierstrass approximation theorem states that every continuous function defined on a closed interval a, b, can be uniformly approximated as closely as desired by a polynomial function. Because polynomials are among the simplest functions, and because computers can directly evaluate polynomials, this theorem has both practical and theoretical relevance, especially in polynomial interpolation. The original version of this result was established by Karl Weierstrass in 1885 using the Weierstrass transform. Marshall H. Stone considerably generalized the theorem Stone 1937 and simplified the proof Stone 1948. His result is known as the Stone-Weierstrass theorem. The Stone-Weierstrass theorem generalizes the Weierstrass approximation theorem in two directions both regressive and progressive, instead of the real interval a, b, an arbitrary compact Hausdorff space X is considered, and instead of the algebra of polynomial functions, approximation with elements from more general subalgebras of C X is investigated. The Stone-Weierstrass theorem is a vital result in the study of the algebra of continuous functions on a compact Hausdorff space. Further, there is a generalization of the Stone-Weierstrass theorem to noncompact Tychonoff spaces, namely, any continuous function on a Tychonoff space is approximated uniformly on compact sets by algebras of the type appearing in the Stone-Weierstrass theorem and described below. A different generalization of Weierstrass original theorem is Mergelin's theorem, which generalizes it to functions defined on certain subsets of the complex plane. Topic Weierstrass approximation theorem The statement of the approximation theorem as originally discovered by Weierstrass is as follows, Weierstrass approximation theorem. Suppose f is a continuous real-valued function defined on the real interval a, b. For every epsilon greater than zero, there exists a polynomial p such that for all x in a, b, we have f x minus p x. Topic: Applications. As a consequence of the Weierstrass approximation theorem, one can show that the space C a, B is separable, the polynomial functions are dense, and each polynomial function can be uniformly approximated by one with rational coefficients. There are only countably many polynomials with rational coefficients. Since C a, B is Hausdorff and separable it follows that C a, B has cardinality equal to 2 0. The same cardinality as the cardinality of the reals. Remark, this cardinality result also follows from the fact that a continuous function on the reals is uniquely determined by its restriction to the rationals. Topic: Stone-Weierstrass theorem, real version. The set C a, B of continuous real-valued functions on a, B, together with the supremum norm f equals super x b f x, is a Banach algebra, that is, an associative algebra and a Banach space such that f g f g for all f g. The set of all polynomial functions forms a subalgebra of C a, B that is, a vector subspace of C a, B that is closed under multiplication of functions, and the content of the Weierstrass approximation theorem is that this subalgebra is dense in C a, B. 
Stone starts with an arbitrary compact Hausdorff space X and considers the algebra C X, R of real valued continuous functions on X, with the topology of uniform convergence. He wants to find subalgebras of C X, R which are dense. It turns out that the crucial property that a subalgebra must satisfy is that it separates points. A set A of functions defined on X is said to separate points if, for every two different points X and Y in X, there exists a function P in A with P X does not equal P Y. Now we may state Stone Weierstrass theorem real numbers. Suppose X is a compact Hausdorff space and A is a subalgebra of C X, R, which contains a non-zero constant function. Then A is dense in C X, R, if and only if it separates points. This implies Weierstrass original statement since the polynomials on A, B form a subalgebra of C A, B which contains the constants and separates points. Topic locally compact version A version of the stone weierstrass theorem is also true when X is only locally compact. Let C O X R be the space of real valued continuous functions on X which vanish at infinity, that is, a continuous function f is in C O X R if, for every epsilon greater than zero, there exists a compact set K X such that, f, stone weierstrass theorem locally compact spaces, suppose X is a locally compact Hausdorff space and A is a subalgebra of C O X R. Then A is dense in C O X R given the topology of uniform convergence if and only if it separates points and vanishes nowhere. This version clearly implies the previous version in the case when X is compact, since in that case C O X R equals C X R. There are also more general versions of the stone weierstrass that weaken the assumption of local compactness. Equals <laughs> topic applications equals the stone weierstrass theorem can be used to prove the following two statements which go beyond weierstrass's result. If f is a continuous real valued function defined on the set a, b times c, d and epsilon greater than zero, then there exists a polynomial function p in two variables such that f x y minus p x y. If x and y are two compact Hausdorff spaces and f x times y r is a continuous function, then for every epsilon greater than zero there exist n greater than zero and continuous functions f1, fn on x and continuous functions g1, gn on y such that, f minus phi g. The theorem has many other applications to analysis, including Fourier series, the set of linear combinations of functions n x equals e2 pi i n x n element of z is dense in c 0 1 0 1 where we identify the endpoints of the interval 0 1 to obtain a circle an important consequence of this is that the n are an orthonormal basis of the space l 2 0 1 of square integrable functions on 0 1 equals topic stone weierstrass theorem complex version equals slightly more general as the following theorem where we consider the algebra c x c of complex valued continuous functions on the compact space x again with the topology of uniform convergence 
This is a C asterisk algebra with the asterisk operation given by pointwise complex conjugation. Stone-Weierstrass theorem, complex numbers. Let X be a compact Hausdorff space and let S be a subset of C, X, C, which separates points. Then the complex unital asterisk algebra generated by S is dense in C, X, C. The complex unital asterisk algebra generated by S consists of all those functions that can be obtained from the elements of S by throwing in the constant function 1 and adding them, multiplying them, conjugating them, or multiplying them with complex scalars, and repeating finitely many times. This theorem implies the real version, because if a sequence of complex-valued functions uniformly approximate a given function f, then the real parts of those functions uniformly approximate the real part of f. As in the real case, an analog of this theorem is true for locally compact Hausdorff spaces. Topic: Stone-Weierstrass theorem, quaternion version. Following John C. Holliday, 1957, consider the algebra C x h of quaternion-valued continuous functions on the compact space X, again with the topology of uniform convergence. If a quaternion Q is written in the form Q equals a plus ib, plus jc plus kd then the scalar part A is the real number, Q minus iqi minus jqj minus kqk, 4. Likewise being the scalar part of minus chi, minus qj and minus qk, b, c and d are respectively the real numbers minus chi minus iq plus jqk minus kqj, 4 minus qj minus iqk minus jq plus kqi, 4 and minus qk plus iqj minus jqk minus kq, 4. Then we may state Stone-Weierstrass theorem, quaternion numbers. Suppose X is a compact Hausdorff space and A is a subalgebra of C X, H, which contains a non-zero constant function. Then A is dense in C X, H, if and only if it separates points. <laughs> Stone-Weierstrass theorem, C asterisk algebra version The space of complex-valued continuous functions on a compact Hausdorff space X i.e. C, X, C is the canonical example of a unital commutative C asterisk algebra A displaystyle mathfrak A The space X may be viewed as the space of pure states on O Display style math frac o with the weak asterisk topology. Following the above Q, a non-commutative extension of the Stone-Weierstrass theorem, which has remained unsolved, is as follows: Conjecture. If a unital C asterisk algebra a display style math frac a has a C asterisk subalgebra B display style math frac B which separates the pure states of a display style math frac a then a equals B Display style math frac a equals math frac b. 
In 1960, Jim Glim proved a weaker version of the above conjecture. Stone-Weierstrass theorem C algebras. If a unital C asterisk algebra a display style math frac a has a C asterisk subalgebra b display style math frac b which separates the pure state space i.e. The weak asterisk closure of the pure states of a display style math frac a then a equals b display style math frac a equals math frac b topic Lattice versions Let X be a compact Hausdorff space. Stone's original proof of the theorem used the idea of lattices in C X, R. A subset L of C X, R is called a lattice if for any two elements f, g element of L, the functions max f, g, min f, g also belong to L. The lattice version of the Stone-Weierstrass theorem states Stone-Weierstrass theorem lattices Suppose X is a compact Hausdorff space with at least two points and L is a lattice in C X, R, with the property that for any two distinct elements X and Y of X and any two real numbers A and B there exists an element F element of L with F X. Topic A and F Y B then L is dense in C X, R. The above versions of stone Weierstrass can be proven from this version once one realizes that the lattice property can also be formulated using the absolute value, F, which in turn can be approximated by polynomials in F. A variant of the theorem applies to linear subspaces of C X, R closed under Max Hewitt and Stromberg 1965, Theorem 7.29, Stone-Weierstrass Theorem. Suppose X is a compact Hausdorff space and B is a family of functions in C X, R such that B separates points. B contains the constant function 1. If f element of B then a f element of B for all constants a element of R if f g element of B then f plus g max f g element of B then B is dense in C x R more precise information is available suppose x is a compact Hausdorff space with at least two points and L is a lattice in C x R the function phi element of C x, R belongs to the closure of L if and only if for each pair of distinct points x and y in x and for each epsilon greater than zero there exists some f element of L for which, f x minus phi x. Bishop's theorem. Another generalization of the Stone-Weierstrass theorem is due to Eret Bishop. Bishop's theorem is as follows Bishop 1961 Let A be a closed subalgebra of the Banach space C, X, C of continuous complex valued functions on a compact Hausdorff space X suppose that f element of C X C has the following property f s element of as for every maximal set S X such that all real functions of as are constant 
Then F. Element of A. Glicksburg gives a short proof of Bishop's theorem using the Crane Milman theorem in an essential way, as well as the Hahn Banach theorem, the process of Louis de Branges. See also Rudin, section 5.7. Nachbin's theorem Nachbin's theorem gives an analog for stone Weierstrass theorem for algebras of complex valued smooth functions on a smooth manifold. Nachbin's theorem is as follows. Let A be a subalgebra of the algebra C infinity M of smooth functions on a finite dimensional smooth manifold M. Suppose that A separates the points of M and also separates the tangent vectors of M. For each point M element of M and tangent vector V at the tangent space at M, there is a f element of A such that df x v does not equal zero. Then A is dense in C infinity M. Topic. See also. munts shash theorem. Bernstein polynomial. Runge's phenomenon shows that finding a polynomial P such that f x. Topic P X for some finely spaced X X N is a bad way to attempt to find a polynomial approximating F uniformly. However, as is shown in Walter Rudin's Principles of Mathematical Analysis, one can easily find a polynomial P uniformly approximating F by convolving F with a polynomial kernel. Mergelin's theorem, concerning polynomial approximations of complex functions. <laughs> Notes <laughs>